Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is Tuesday, Tuesday the 26th, wrapping up uh, the month so quickly. Before we know it, it'll be Friday, and that'll be it for September. Whoops, gone. So what I was saying is, uh, what I said to subscribers in my opening call this morning, uh, my newsletter, uh, we, first of all, we're remaining short. We're short right from the very high of the 1st of August at 35,679. Just under that, we went short. Um, and we remain short. We also short the semiconductors. But this is most important. You see this arch formation. It's really like a lowercase h that goes to lowercase m and then retests and then breaks the left side low of 34,029. There were a number of Chapman Wave. I don't put them in now because there have been so many. There never used to be that many, but lately there have been a lot of what I call Chapman Wave Roman candles. Basically, what you do is you see the price. Uh, in this case, on the upside, yesterday it opened, made a tiny little wick, uh, sprutted to the downside, sharp move down, and then closed halfway to three quarters off the bottom with a green candle, meaning that the opening price and the high of the day together with the low of the day, created a long wick with a green candle, big body, um, mustn't be more than halfway of the whole uh, length of the wick from the bottom to the top. And the rule of thumb is, in my work, is that if, it's, if it is now, it, it's only 37 minutes or something, 38 minutes into the trading day, I said if for 60 minutes, let me look at the exact wording that I put this morning, uh, right here. So I had, oh, uh, no, no, it's for my newsletter, right? So I went to, right there, there we go. Click. I had said, if the Dow trades under, well, if, if the Dow trades, closed up 43 points yesterday with the green Chapman Wave Roman candle, that means a slide that holds under 33,850 for more than 60 minutes will likely test yesterday's low of 33,780. Uh, While two closes above 34,017 34, over three sessions could see a rally to test the 34,306 uh, pink nine period exponential moving way up there. So the day is young, let's just see what happens. And then I went on to say today, uh, and note how the price closed over the daily 200 period exponential moving average. That's right over there. In this particular one, I have the 200 period moving average. Um, so I go on to say rather oversold. Some buying is possible, but the sustainability is tough here. Today, holding minus 60s or more after 2 p.m. Eastern time is a negative while pushing to a plus 30s or more at noon, could see further buying. But the last hour will be key. The technicals are somewhat oversold. Just the technicals. That doesn't mean to know. The price doesn't know that. It's just the technicals. All right, let's get on with our story. And the story is, <clears throat> what are we looking at? We're looking at, for the first time since, I think it was May of this year, May the 25th, uh, no, we made a low on May the 25th. So since a little bit after that, that was, I think, the beginning of June, it's about the first or third of the, yeah, first of June. On the very next day, the second, we broke above the 200 period moving average. And since then, we've, we, we've not gotten close, and now we're under it. So that makes this very important because now it acts like a magnet line or a propellant line uh, or a repellent line. And this particular instance, you can see that we've we've touched it. We're just below it today, and I wouldn't be surprised if the 33,909 level um, we bounce up and down around it for a little while. But more importantly, the day is young. Now we're expanding to the downside a little bit. But most most 
th this is the part that I'm, I'm monitoring. You see how the nine period moving average is negative, this pink nine period moving average under the 14 period moving average. And you see that the MACD is very negative, the stochastics at 7%, that's negative. On balance volume is low, the little gray line right there, this is the daily chart, is negative. I don't see anything yet to tell me, because yesterday I said to subscribers, if there is a very, very sharp sell-off, and I really mean like four or 500 points, and then a reversal later in the day, that could say we've got a rally that could last, uh, you know, maybe three days, maybe even a week. Although with the news, you've got, you know, default, you've got, you've got so many things happening here. Uh, you've got uh, the funding, you've got the uh, strikes, you, you've got first time. I thought there was a rule at some point that the president could not vote or, or not um, could not sh be on the strike line. I thought that's with some president. I thought I remember that. But anyway, so now the president is going to be with the the workers. So he's really asking for um, a, a wage increase. And at the same time, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens here because this is these I would say for a lot of this is uncharted waters with yields at multi-year highs. Uh, this is this is different, and that's the reason why I think that the downside you have to consider the downside trajectory. Um, it's going to be much more. It's going to be much harder for all of these things to come together at some point. It could. It could start maybe next week, going into October. Maybe we see it. But as of now, there are just too many uncertainties, and that's the reason I say to subscribers: we're staying short. We've raised cash, not putting any any new position at this particular point. And even a more significant uh, is that you've got yields. Look at this. The, the TBT yesterday. Shot up now. I'm using this. I, I don't normally do it, but there was a little ictus over there, so that says that I could use this double top, exact double top of 37 point in the TB. 36.99 uh, was the low. 37.49 was the high, and the very next that was 21st on the 22nd. We went to 37.49. So I I decided to be a little ahead of it, and because of the weekly chart finally getting right up there. Look, there's the price. Let me just put that up a little bit. Here's the price. Here's the X that I'd put in as a target. So I'm just taking that away now because it's getting a little bit messy. 39.22 um, was my target. The October week of the 28th high uh, of 39.22 came all the way back. It created first a rectangle a lowercase h that went to a lowercase m, but it was actually fairly successful because within one bar, it went back in above the left side low and then made one closing low. And then all of a sudden it starts peak A, B, C, D. Um, and then this is E, F, and this is either G slash C because that could be the start of a new, uh, uh, right, let me raise that up so that you can see it. There it is. All right. Right here, that could be an instant restart. Within three bars, we make a new high after a PD. That's it's going to turn it down. So we've achieved most of what we wanted to see with a high today of 38. Oh, what's the high today? 38.74. We're just underneath with 50, 50, 60 cents below the high that was made in October. I, I have to tell you, all these things going on, I don't see any reason why you want to get too aggressively wrong. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Dow's down 274, S&P's down 47. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So we just saw a one-to-one -one to the downside in the E-mini from the 200 period moving average in the one minute chart. But look what happened, I forgot to mention this. In the 10 minute chart of the E-mini, that's S&P E-mini, you went to peak A, B, pulls back, there's your starting point. So every peak gets counted in the Chapman Wave methodology. This one, that's your starting point. That's an A and that's a B. And then it goes C, D, and it goes to E and it stops where? At 4364. Um, let me just double check if it wasn't 0.25 or something. 4366.75 uh, and 4366 round number high at 820, so 810. Right there at the 200 period moving average, and look what's happened. We're now down 40 points at 43.26. Someone in the den had mentioned 43.20. I think we're getting uh, a little a little closer to that number for sure. Um, a good call. And meantime, back at the ranch, uh, let me go through some other things here that I think are very important because it isn't just one thing. Look, we've got the TBT, that's yields. Let's just go to the yield itself, the TNX. And this is the 10-year. And the 10-year is where so many interest rates are, are measured by that. That's your benchmark, your barometer. And look at this. It broke out to the upside. 43.33 was its high back in October, the 4.333%, 43.33. And today's high so far is 45.30. I mean, just, oh, man. This is not good. I do have it in a P at a leg F. There could be an instant restart. <laughs> if this is an F, yields are going to start down almost immediately. But look at this. The stochastic's flat at 90%. That's great. This is the weekly chart. This, the MACD is still rallying. The uh, 9 is over the 14. The price is way over the 9. So I don't have any signals there. So that's the yields of the... What's Toll Brothers doing? Toll is down only 60 cents, made a peak E, a peak D and an E. The D was 
with very good technicals. The E had much weaker technicals, although the 9 was still way over the 14. Now it's really real close to turning down. Let's look at builders. Uh, this is BLDR. Uh, builder, uh, this is called the title itself, it is Builders uh, First Source Inc. Uh, making low lows, made the dreaded H, made, taking out the left side low. Uh, last week and so far and closing below it yeah there, there, there's some issues here looking at crude oil crude crude oil uh, has gone right to the left side 92 nine is that still the case because it gets smoothed out 91 94 9281 was the 11 this is november the 11th 2022 high and uh so 9281 and last week the high was 9243. Just under it, there's a beautiful cup formation. Look, there's a little Chapman Wave Roman candle uh, noted right there. Right there. And this one held even all for about a month. And this is a weekly chart. It just never closed long enough, or even on a daily basis, to trigger the a test of the left side low. And what happened is it started to make high highs. The nine period moving average turned positive, and it's still positive. The stochastics at 95%. I love that. Right, let's look at gold. Uh, gold now is down nine. So this potential cup formation right here, it's going to fail if it continues like this. And then you'll make yet another dreaded H pattern. Look at that A minus. It tried to rally and took out the left side low. Now it's gone to another A. Will that fail? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So far, it's holding above the low of the week of 1913.6. That's on the continuous contract, the week of the 25th of August. And look at the um, silver silver contract. Uh, it's just stuck to this 200. Man, look at this 200 period moving average. It's like a magnet up and down and up and down. It keeps coming back to this 23, 29 level. Amazing how that happens. Let's look at high grade copper weekly chart. Look at that. Under the 200 period moving average, look at the magnet of this 200 period moving average. It just keeps attracting the price. Now we want to see what happened to heating oil. Look at this. Heating oil is pulling back a little bit. Um, it's down 0 0.0039 at 3.1610. Made this little double top. There's a heating continuous contract. Week of the 4th of November makes a 3.3707 high. And the last I was three weeks ago at 3.428. Oh, so that, that's very nice. It was slightly higher. But what's the rule of thumb in these cup formations? That you can have a rally. Watch what happens when you get to the left side. So this is a technique that I talk about all the time. Let me see if I can get to it on my chart. Where is my chart? Right there. And now let me just move it up. I uh, put it over here, right? Yeah, there it is. So now let's go right there. No, I don't need that. Yes. So within the context of, oh, am I getting it? Am I hitting the wrong button? I think I am. I don't want to do anything silly here to lose everything that I've been working at. So let me see if I can do it here. Click. Um, where did it go? This is not the one. There it is. Okay, so this is, a, this is a chart I wanted to show you right here. In the cup formation, what happens when you get to the left side is really important. Uh, you can see, may, I like to look at three core patterns. One is a straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, or a mix of one and two. In this case, the dreaded H. This is the H because it took out the left side Oh, it's the wrong way around. This is the very positive green Y pattern. What happens on the left side high is very important. Look, each time it gets to the left side high, it stalls, gets to the left side high, it stalls. So this is the pattern that's most important because at a certain uh, moment in time, we're going to see a close above all of these highs. And if crude, uh, this is a heating oil because winter's coming, if heating oil in the next week or two starts to stabilize and then starts to trade in the 3.62 area it's a 3.16 right now and can hold there for two out of three weeks all of a sudden heating oil and look where it is already is going to become a factor oh man with, if, with inflation and then you get heating oil 
that's not good. But I do have this uptrend line that I drew in a little while back. It's got moved because this is a continuous contract, so the price gets smoothed out. So look at this. You've gone right up against into the inside track repellent zone. So you can go all the way until you break out. 3.66 is already a 3.68 will be a breakout on a monthly basis. And you're making higher highs and higher lows. Interesting, huh? Okay, so here we go. I want you to do this. I had a couple of questions. Could I look at E? Uh, what is that symbol? Uh oh. XPEV? XPEV? Yeah, XPEV, Schwing Inc. designs, develops, manufactures smart EVs in China, making a big arch formation. I think it's just going sideways and it's not breaking down. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the Chinese auto electric or the whole industry itself starting to impact a lot of Europe and other countries, not America yet, but they are planning to get to America as I understand it. Not yet. Look at this. This is a very nice steady sideways move. Whereas if you're looking at a Tesla, the Tesla has as far as American automobiles are concerned, it's having a consolidation in the higher range. And so far, I must say, this is not, not a bad chart. It could go a little lower, but it's not bad. I'll be back. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer. But the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I, I don't know if I finished that sentence before, 
I did. There was a one-to-one -to, -one to the E-mini one-minute charge. See this line here? Now I'm going to make it a little thicker and show you what I was looking at. That, make that blue. Just to show you, this is just distance now. That's all we're talking about. And there's the other one. Uh, wait, make it big and make it blue as well. Just so you can see where we go. Yeah, so that went within a point and a half, two points. Actually, about a point and a half of that low. And now there's a little bit of a bounce. And you can see that the bounce, and look how nice the MACD turned up. Look at this right at the exact ictus of the low. You got this uh, one technical indicator turning up. The stochastic took its time, finally went over 20%. Now it's at 40, oh, whoops, it's at 94%. That's a good sign to say at least there's a, a bounce coming here. But to sustain the bounce, you need price to move uh, in proportion to the way the technicals have acted. And the technicals have moved very strongly to the upside. That's the MACD and the stochastic. The nine period moving has only just turned up. So that says you can have a range to the 43, 40, 43, uh, 44, 45 area, somewhere around 44, 45. Um, and then we'll have to see what the next step is. But the, the selling pressure is certainly there. All right, now there are a couple of things that I need to look at right away. So um, it's important to monitor for me the SMHs, the semiconductor index. It's, they're, out, they're down about 86 cents now at 142.13. Why? Because as, as long as I followed this particular ETF or the SOX index, which is the semiconductor index itself, I might be wrong, but I put them together over the years and where the semiconductors go, the general market tends to go. Now, one might lag, one might lead. You know, it just depends on the circumstances, but the direction is usually the same. And there'll be some catch up. And what's happened is that the semiconductors actually made an all-time high, 161.17, above the 159.42 all-time high back on the week of the, tw I said all-time high, right? Yeah, all-time high of November of 2021, um, down to 83.49. And then in almost the same exact plumb line, same number of months, goes to 161.17. <clears throat> And then what happens is you start a little double top back. I, I should mention, you can see from here, we are short uh, a day after, two days after the high was made with the doji candle, uh, just over 159. Uh, so it's about two points or so off the all-time high. And one of the things I'm looking at here is that it, you see this extension to the downside. Now, I was going to do this over the weekend. I thought, no, I don't want the chart be, to be messy. I'd rather do it live during the show and see where the SMHs are. So, look, if I go just using this as the, let's call it the TF and N, lightning bolts, one-to-one, -one, measured move that so many of our hosts use as a fabulous tool. I, I've done it myself. I have a particular technique that really applies to this, and it's called the one-to-one -one parallel extension. And in this case, this would this one-to-one -one would fit. Let's see what happens from that high to that high. Look, it's the number of bars to the downside, but it's got to be at the same angle. You see this degree of angle right here? Where's my protractor? I wish I, I don't have it uh, on Larry's system. And thank you, Larry, for doing my show yesterday. On Larry's system, he's got um, an angle that you can turn, and it changes. I don't know why um, TradeStation doesn't do that. It should be so easy. It's just all the numbers are there. There's nothing to, to calculate other than the angle from a particular point to the other point. And as you move it up, you want to see what the angle is. So I don't see my – I used to try to put it in hand. Just, I've got a little plastic one, you know, one of those things that you get at CVS. Um because that's what I have to use. My eye says that this is probably um, on the way down. This is probably uh, about a 15 degree angle. Well, whatever it is. No, no, way more than that. It's the other way around. It's 80, 87, 80% angle right here. So look what happened. It goes up. So this is essentially A to B. And now you've got 
C to D. It happens to be Chapman wave peak C minus because it took out this left side low, but this has nothing to do with the Chapman wave notation. This is just a purely measured move. And what does it do? It takes you to one, let's call it to a uh, round number. This is called it 140. All right. So what was the low yesterday? The low was 141.55. The day before was 140.69. So it's accomplished everything I would want to see in this particular one-to-one. -one. But I don't have anything other than to say there could be a bit of a pop. Why? Look, here's this up channel, little mini up channel, plus an expanding uh, falling axe formations. Uh, just think of it as trend lines that are ex expanding like a cone. But the bottom one is where I put the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone or repellent zone, the green and, and pink lines. Well, it's this is the second week now. The week has just barely begun. It's an hour and a five minutes. And, of course, that also means that the Dow is lower than that 33,850 level for more than 60 minutes. So it should test the low of yesterday. That's the rule of thumb in the Chapman Wave methodology. Look, this is now producing the dreaded H pattern. Remember, this is the pattern we were showing you just a moment ago right here. Come straight down, have a rally, fail at a peak A or a B. I, I usually make this gray because it's under the previous high. So keep it, keep it in, in the rules here, gray. And it's now an A minus because it failed. It took out the left side low. And look what's happened. This is now... <clears throat> Um, just the beginning of the week, we've got a whole week to go. Anything can happen by Friday. But what I am saying is the MACD is weak, the stochastics very really weak, the on-balance volume, the little blue line is weak. The nine-period moving average is, let me just do it over here. The nine-period moving average is SMHs, SMH, weekly. Very, very close to turning negative. If it turns negative, it'll be the first time since it had one week, 30th, first. Yeah, it had one, one week in November to, De no, December to January. December of last year, the 30th, to the week of the 6th of January, where it went pink after being green for a little bit, and then it turned green and it stayed green all the way. I think this is going to turn pink. But it might be just a narrow little pink. It could be a one-week pink. I don't know. But the price is much lower than it was over there. So we'll see what happens. Day is young. Week is young. We'll see what happens. All right, now let's get back to the story. So I am saying to you that within the context of the semiconductors making lower highs and lower lows after making an all-time high. So the Dow, S&P, um, they haven't made new all-time highs. They're a little bit away from those all-time highs. So there's a, there's a dichotomy here. But you remember, I like to think of the chip sector as the oil sector of the 1900s, the era of the 1900s, where oil was pervasive. It was everywhere. And now we've got the chips, which are everywhere. So it's really important to monitor this particular sector. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 271. We want to look at Apple, Amazon, and a bunch of other stocks that I've just got questions about. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I, I said I would also do some uh, of the semi. So look, yes, NVDA, NVIDIA, was the darling, the darling for a long time. There's nothing here that says it, it still ain't the darling. This is this is uh, still uh, holding really well. Look, the nine is way over the 14 in the week. It did make a peak D. Uh, it made a G slash A in the uh, Monthly chart, G says, oh, be careful. A says, are you kidding? Any any slide you want to be buying, I'm not in that camp. I'm in the camp right now that says the daily chart is starting to struggle a little bit. Let's just open this out so you can see the full chart of the chart wave notation right there. See, there's the falling X and it broke out. There's the one-to-one -to, -one to the upside, the same angle. That's good. And now it's come down. Pink nine-period moving average says you got to be careful. Goes 403.11, the low of August. That kind of would be a target, the very first target. If it starts to trade in the 390s, that's a big issue because finally it's taken since the breakout. I remember saying uh, that was back in May when it broke above. It gapped up, had a low of 366.35, and then it never came back. Then I kept saying, well, I think this maybe next week it, it retests. But if it closes sharply below this low, the gap up, low bar, the low of the bar, um, that's going to be a negative, but not ne negative in the sense that it goes and fills the bar, but it'll start trading there. But it hasn't gone back there, and now it is. So we're talking about May the, what did I say, 5th or something? May the 25th. Since May the 25th at 366, NVIDIA is at 426 right now. It made a 50502 high uh, back in uh, August. And it's just meandering. It's just it's it has not even come close to filling that gap, and that's going to be a big issue for me. And that's another reason why, if you look at advanced micro devices, sorry, uh, applied materials, uh, this is a daily chart. I don't want the daily chart. I want the weekly chart just to show you. This is a peak E, and the, the nine period moving average is starting to deteriorate. If you look at AMD. Uh, another great uh, company in the semiconductors. I had this left side, right side price time match. Hasn't quite got there yet. Um, that would be uh, right here. Let me just show you. Right here. Uh, I said this is the area. 93.68 was my target area. And I said it should get there by September 11th or so. And here it is uh, almost the end of September. It hasn't got there yet. So it's holding pretty well. But if you look at the... Uh, 
weekly chart, that peak F and that pullback, that's pretty sharp. If you look at the monthly, it's gone sideways. So I'm just saying, you've got to be a little bit careful here. Intraday, you've got fabulous moves up and down. Look at this. Yeah, we've started a nice little buy signal to buy mode. Yep, there it is. Uh, there's the falling X, breaks out to the upside. The same angle, one-to-one -one expansion in the, in the falling X in this particular pattern says, that's the pattern we're looking at. I'll just, uh, I don't like to do this, but I'll just do this for demonstration purposes. Therefore, and I'll make it green on the way up just for fun. Here we go, greeny. All right, greeny, here we go. And, oh, wrong one. That goes blue. And this one goes gray, uh, green. And look at this, one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. So whoever was saying the 4320s was their target on the downside, that was a fabulous call. And now what we've got is... We've got the same thing from the breakout level, and it's just gone above it in leg C. So this could be an important moment uh, to say, oh, did it go? Let me just check, because remember, we discussed it as a rule of thumb. Let's see if that rule of thumb was, in fact, a rule of thumb. Uh, yes, they are. So remember, this is what I said. If the Dow trades for 60 minutes below uh, 30, 33,850, there's a really good chance that it's not only going to test the left side low, it could even go a little lower. But it did. Today's low is so far 3704, uh, and now it's 40, it's 80 points above, 80 points above that, uh, making lower lows and lower highs. So it's it's tough right now, and you can see the uh, automated Chapman wave uh, support here at 33688 in the 120-minute um, chart that held, and now we're trying to bounce a little bit. So. Just be careful. I mean, there are going to be some great buys at, you know, along the way, but you just, I think cash is, I wouldn't say cash is necessarily king, but it's a really a component of your, of whatever you have in your portfolio. I think you need cash because there are going to be some really good buying opportunities at some point coming up. Now, uh, so I said Apple. Yeah, we got Apple. Took out the left side low yesterday. It's inside that. That's the low of uh, Apple. This is PL. Planet Labs. How did I get there? I forgot the AA, right? So there's the AA. I needed AA right there myself. 171.96 was the low back in August. Rallies up to the 190 area. Makes the dreaded H pattern. But then it makes, it does, it holds the left side low. It makes another arch. So look at this. This is a bigger one, but within that, you've got your H that goes to a lowercase m. You remember what I said um, in the, oh, I didn't mention it, I don't think today, but I usually do. The lowercase H, can, if it holds the left side low, can make an H to another H. So I call it the lowercase H to a lowercase m pattern. And lo and behold, we've got the lowercase H to a lowercase m, and it took out that left side low. So you've got to be somewhat careful. Yeah, the low today is 172.48, 171.96 was the low. And the 200 period movie, all of this is a magnet. 171.21, we're getting closer and closer to that. And the weekly chart has the dreaded H. And I believe it's the 171.96 low. Yes, it is. So let me just double check right there. Oh, I'm moving my, I'm moving my fibs. Yeah, 171.96. There it is, the week of the 18th of August. And it made a new uh, recovery high at, uh, I, did I forget to type that in? I did. This, it was under 200, I believe. 198.23, the week of the 21st of July. 188.23, July, the week of, I think I said the 8th. I'll just type 8th. I'll change it if I'm wrong. 23. All right. So with that said, and this goes pink because th there's a sell signal in the weekly chart of Apple. All right. Amazon, let's do that. Oh, wait. There were some questions I think I forgot to answer. Um, okay. I'll be back in a moment uh, I, I, to, to those questions. Uh, what was it? Uh, 20, 20, actual... Uh, new homes, okay. Uh, yeah, just a question about the GDX. Let me get to that in a moment. I just wanted to show you. So Amazon, look, Amazon has 
made a peak deal. Chapman Wayne methodology, your objective is to go from a buy signal to a buy mode, meaning that you should go to at least four higher peaks, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. You can go E, F, and G, but D is your objective. When you get there, you've got to reassess because other things can happen. Look how many times at a D or an E you've plunged. Um, so it comes from 146, bam, it's down to 127, 20 points. That's a pretty uh, sharp move in Amazon. And the weekly chart is rolling over, but the nine period moving average is still strong. So price is down. I'm almost, I have to wait for the end of the week, but I'm almost about, look, 143.63 was the high uh, back in July. 145.86, three weeks ago, just above it, uh, two points above it. And it goes all the way back to uh, 2022, I think it was. Oh, no, it, it was July. Yes, July of 2022, July, August at 146.57. So this has become quite a barrier for Amazon. I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. DFNN.com. Educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, yeah, so let me just do this. I had a question about ASPN. This is Aspen Aerogels Inc. This one's doing nicely. I have to tell you, some of the, the battery and... Uh, other anything to do with EVs are just doing horribly. Some of them are just making lower lows and lower lower lows and lower lows every day. Um, so this is doing nicely. It's trading at seven dollars and eleven cents, and most importantly, it did have 
a huge move. He had a monthly chart once upon a time at 2018 is trading under two dollars, and then it goes peak A. Each peak gets uh, notated alphabetically, uppercase on the way up. That is D. <clears throat> There's no uh, alternate count there. E goes to your D, but then continues soaring up from the 20s all the way to 67 or so, and then it turns around. And that was uh, somewhere around September of 2021. And then what does it do? It takes a little tumble and gets down to the fives. So it goes down to about 540 just recently. Um, that's around about the 21st of August. I'll give you the exact dates. This is too exact, precise. On the 25th of August, it goes to 5.33 and then starts a rally. Announced at 7.12. Nines over the 14. Price is way over the nine. MACD is good. Stochastics, okay. It's a 70%. Not great. On balance volumes, okay. Not great. Rare to strength. A little gray line there is moving nicely up. Weekly chart says, wow, it's making a lowercase h. That could very well go into the pattern that we call the lowercase h to a lowercase m. So this is what might happen over here. But... If this closes above nine at any point, that oh, is that the end of the show? That's the end of the show. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. Check out my opening call. And I'll, I'll be back with Tom a little later today. I have quickly. Bye.